Hey y'all, welcome back to Old Pecan Homestead. Shayla here. We just got home from another shed hunt that we hosted down uh, relatively close to our house. And so I have got to get on my garden. The weeds are so tall. I put it off because they were cutting down a tree in our front yard and I really wanted the wood chips from it. And so I was going to put the cardboard down and put the wood chips on top, but there wasn't really any point in putting the cardboard or the paper bags down until we got the wood chips because they're just going to blow away anyway. So um, at this point now the weeds are like three, four foot tall and you're going to see that in a minute. And the other problem is, is that none of our mowers were working and um, we actually just worked out a deal with the neighbor and we have their lawnmower now. But I'm going to go see if I can get a weed eater to start and then I have something special to show you for the tomatoes. But first I got to drink my coffee. So. I, after a long day, I gotta get at least a cup in. But I was gonna show you this tree that they cut down. There it is. It's not that weird from the porch, but pulling up in our driveway looks pretty weird. We need to cut this cotton tree down. It's pretty dead at the bottom and rotting out, and it's it's gonna fall on the road one of these days. So we're gonna have to call county up or something and get that down. But they took out that tree, they left us a bunch of firewood. And I will show you the wood chip pile in just a moment. The goats loved it, they went to town. Unfortunately, they're putting in, well, we don't mind because our internet is right behind our house, but they're putting in fiber optics, which is good for other people, but they're also putting in 5G, which, I won't get into, but if you know about it, then you will understand. But they trimmed all those trees up down there. And uh, got this one taken out. And I have huge plans to convert all the way back there where the deer cart is. The kids dragged that thing around. Back over there by the deer cart, by the bees. And we're gonna bring a fence all the way out past this tree and over here. And this is going to be my flower and herb garden. And I'm hoping to get that done soon. Um, next week, we have the Oki Homesteaders uh, Expo. It's going to be so much fun. We're super excited. We've got a booth out there. And um, we've been really working hard. I'm still not telling you what we're selling. You're going to have to find out once we get there or when we do the video on that. But, um... We are, we're really excited about it though. Um, we've been busting our butt to get this thing done and um, get this all together before this next weekend. And um, so I'm hoping that after that, then I'll be able to work on this up here because it's, uh, we've just been so busy. I haven't been able to get to it. And I was waiting on this tree to get cut down because I didn't want them dropping stuff on the brand new fence that I put up. But if you don't know about the Oakley Homesteaders Expo, I highly encourage you to look it up. I'll post the link in the description below here, but check it out. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be um, a bunch of speakers there, tons of vendors. They're doing some demonstrations and classes. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if it's too late or if the hog butchering class is full. I know Stacy's fermenting class is full because I really wanted to do that, but I couldn't decide and it, it was, it was closed and then like, I don't know, four days of opening or something, maybe less, but um, they're going to have some speakers on beekeeping, backyard chickens, foraging. Uh, I think there's going to be a blacksmith there. They're going to be doing, um, there's going to be someone from OSU coming in, just a whole bunch of, you know, homestead type stuff. It's going to be really fun. And then of course, all the vendors will be there, some great vendors, some soaps and homemade stuff and herbalist and stuff like that so guys check it out and come out there come see us stop by our booth come take a picture um, we're gonna be doing some giveaways we'll have we're for sure gonna have a goat or two there maybe the cooney cooney depending on how she she acts and um for demonstration purposes with our products and so come check us out come pet the animals come talk to us we'd love to see you out there and uh we'll get back to this video don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Okay, y'all. Finally at the garden. Uh, we had to, I forgot we had to go meet some friends from church and um, they're gonna let us use their land to put our cows on and so we went over to talk to them and had to run to town and get gas and we're just gonna make this video like a time lapse and go through and then at the end I'll talk about my special uh, uh, what I'm using to prop up my tomatoes and uh, how we're gonna do that so I don't know if I'll get that to that part today maybe tomorrow because we it's getting late as you can see and it it already just started sprinkling so that'll most likely be tomorrow as you can see like I said it needs some major weeding um, I've I was keeping up with the rows where the, the vegetables are for a while but I've got the small stuff I don't even I don't know what that stuff's called but all that stuff's getting pretty thick and that really just popped up over the last two to three days um, so I'm going to have to go to town and get a hoe for that and then I'm gonna pick up some straw and then you can see my beautiful pile of wood chips back there we're gonna get that cleaned up and then this side is a wreck I was gonna do some watermelons over there um, a ton of volunteer pumpkins popped up from last year back in that corner there's a huge pumpkin coming in there's I think there's two over over there my hands in the way there's a couple behind me and so um, actually there's one right there too I'm gonna have to transplant those after I get all this mowed down and it's we're gonna we're gonna make us look pretty again so here's my lovely before and after Stay tuned. Got most of that we did we did it I went around the pumpkins um, all of that all, everything that I just cut down will die and then it'll compost on top of this on in the rows and so I'm not gonna mess with the rows even uh, if I get the wood chips down today I'm gonna go I gotta get the bucket back on the trap tractor but um I'm not even gonna get the wood chips on the rows I want to get a bale of straw first and then I want to go get another thing of fertilizer and re-fertilize these things it's probably been a month since I did it last and then um but I'm definitely gonna get the wood chips down on the walkways and um it already looks a lot better than it did so it's gonna look really pretty when I get the wood chips in and get the rows once all this dies down and I get the rows cleaned up it's gonna be awesome so I'm gonna get the cardboard laid down and then I'm going to either go grab the wood chips or see if Dakota will do it he is out there uh, fertilizing the, oh, look like he just ran out of gas. He's out there fertilizing the pasture. We got some really uh, nice organic fertilizer that he'll probably talk to y'all about in a different video, but um, I'll be back in a minute. So it didn't even cross my mind to save all these. We just kept throwing them in, being lazy, not throwing them away. And then when I got to get in my garden and I was like, hey, I can use those. So. Really glad I saved these feed bags. They're all torn up because I threw them out here a while ago, expecting to get this done, thinking my tree was going to be cut down. And they just did it. It's been weeks since they told me they were going to cut it down. So, anyway, I'm glad I saved this and I'm going to get going. y'all like I said we didn't get it done last night so 
I'm back out here today. I went ahead and got all the mulch down on two of the rows and then on the front and back of the garden. And now we're gonna start on my tomatoes. All right, so you may or may not have seen this before. I found it on a channel. This guy does a lot of gardening. He's got a whole class on um, gardening that you're gonna go through. It's totally free, it's on YouTube. And I can't believe I'm blanking out on his channel name. Um, I've only watched a few of his videos, but um, he's got some great videos and I highly recommend checking them out and I'll make sure to link his uh, YouTube below. But I'm going to be doing a tomato trellis. I don't like the idea of cages. They're pain in the butt to build. There's nowhere to store. I've got, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 tomato plants. I don't have enough space to store that many cages. So when I seen this, I thought it was a fantastic idea. He uses it and explains it and he keeps his tomato plants trimmed up. And um, I'm not an expert at it, so I'm not gonna try to explain why this is better than the tomato cages, but because of the type of plant and the way it grows, this trellis is um, your better option. And so I give him full credit for this and the idea and how to build it and everything like that. So um, like I said, I will link him and his channel in that video that I watched in uh, the description below so make sure and check that out and go tell them that we sent you over there and you saw it on our channel and I'd really appreciate that and um, so basically all it is is you're gonna take these are taller I don't think I could get seven foot I think they're out of stock so I got some six and a half foot uh, T post I think that's what they are and um, you're gonna put them on each end and then you're gonna get these PVC caps now, I think these are inch and a quarter, yep, they're inch and a quarter PVC caps. They fit perfectly on the top of your T-post. So then you can get some half inch or three quarter inch uh, conduit, and then you can stick these in here. And then we're going to string down from, from that pipe down to the tomatoes and pull them up that way, which I'll show you here in a minute. It'll be easier to explain once I get it done and set up. My order got a little messed up when I was ordering and I ended up getting one inch pipe or something like that. But it ended up working out because they fit perfectly in here so I didn't have to return them and exchange them. But um, So it, it worked out pretty well because it's a thicker pipe so I'm not mad about it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and not talk too much. And once we get done I'll kind of show you and we'll just kind of do a time lapse of this. Okay, now let me walk you through. I can explain it a little better, better now that you can visualize. Um, so depending on the length of your garden, obviously you're gonna, you just need to measure it out and figure out how many T-posts and stuff you need here. You're gonna get some T-posts. You need your galvanized tubing or, or your conduit, some PVC ends, and then you're just gonna put it together like so. And then I've got some twine back here. It's called several different things, juke, and, but we're going to get this video camera set up and get all these tomatoes tied up and show you what it looks like. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get these tomatoes tied up. Basically, we are going to, you put stakes in the ground just to stabilize the bottom of it, and then you're going to tie it down on the very bottom of the stalk, and then you're going to weave it around up the plant, you're going to go up make a loop across and then tie a half hitch on there so you can slide it up and down according to the growth of the plant. So let's get in here close to the plant so you can see how we tie this up. Let's see if I can do this right. And then he also does another thing where he weaves, um, he weaves his tomato plants in between the T-post to keep them straight. So we're just going to weave this, wrap this around this plant gently as we can just to keep it, keep guiding it upwards. Okay. 
his video is way better than this one. He explains it a lot better and everything, but uh, I'm doing it for because some of you may not have heard of this and I really like the idea of it and I'm hoping that maybe it'll inspire someone else to do the same thing and you can go and watch his video and hopefully get him some more views and subscribers, which he has a lot already, but more never hurts. Speaking of some more subscribers, we would appreciate it if you'd like this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give it, or go ahead and subscribe. We are very, very close to our thousand subscriber mark, which means that once we hit a thousand and we get 4,000 watch hours, we will be monetized. And we're really looking forward to that. So I might not be doing this right. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get a knot tied down here on the bottom and then we're just gonna weave this around the plant. I should have done this a long time ago before this plant got this big because um, it started to fall over and now it is growing a little bit funny. So it's a little bit harder to get these around here. But anyway, we're just gonna weave this around the plant and as it grows, you'll just train the plant to go around it. I mean, usually it will get should straighten back up as it grows up but we're gonna take this and you can follow me up here okay we're gonna come up go around this pole which I think I'm probably gonna move this depot because it's gonna drive me crazy we're gonna come back down and then I have Levi with me here he's gonna cut this string cut this string <laughs> that was your cue kid thank you and then we're just going to tie a half hitch down here and that'll give me a way to slide it up and down as this grows to tighten it up. And we... All right, there we go. So see, I can slide it to loosen it or we can tighten it up just with that little simple knot. So get that all tightened up. And now... So with his tomato plants, he actually trims them up pretty low. He will keep the whole underside. It looks crazy. It looks like looks like the you're really going to do a lot of damage to the plant. But he said he gets a higher yield off of it. And I remember the name is Josh Satin Farms. So pretty laid back guy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all these done. I'm not going to do it on video because it's going to be a minute and then get the other one set up and we'll bring you back to check it all out all right y'all i got this first row all completely done i'll work on this one we've got to go uh, work on our product for the uh expo really quick before it's got to get painted so we got to go to that before the sun gets down so i'll work on this over the next week but um this is what the trellis looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, you're just pulling all these tomato plants up. And like I said, they're done with a half hitch, so all you gotta do is tighten it up. But I'm really liking this. It's a lot cleaner looking. Um, there's more air that's getting through. I'm gonna keep the bottoms trimmed up really high, so there's plenty of airflow through these tomato plants. And, um, looks really nice. I really like it. It's really easy to move, change up. So I definitely recommend this. And like I said, don't forget to check out Josh Stat Satin Farms and see what, uh, how he does it because he can explain it a lot better. Anyway, looks a lot better than it did. We'll keep you guys updated and, uh, we appreciate you watching. Like I said, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to like Josh Satin Farms video. Subscribe if you haven't, and please go look up the Oki Homesteaders Expo. It's coming up this weekend. Check out that link below about the Oki Homesteaders Expo, and we hope to see you there.